Hi there my peeps. In today's review, we're at the end of October, beginning of November. I'm in my toy room, but I have a heater on, so that's just gonna be you hear a strange noise as a heater to keep me warm. So I'm doing a review now on Swamp Thing. It's for one of my subscribers, one of my peeps. He knows who he is. It's gonna be 10 videos I'm just on Swamp Thing. Now the first video I'm gonna do is on a mini statue of Swamp Thing. I don't have the big one. It came out in 1999. Uh, Swamp Thing, a brief history of Swamp Thing. He appeared in his first comic book. It's called House of Secrets number 98. On the cover you see a girl with blonde or orangey hair looking at, him, at, her, at herself in a mirror and Swamp Thing is coming out inside by the window in the back of, of, of the comic book. It's, a, it's the first appearance of Swamp Thing from DC Comics. It's pretty rare. Uh, I had a copy, I sold it. Well, actually, it was kind of st not stolen, but sold in my collection of comics a long time ago when I was a kid. I was probably like 20-something, and unfortunately, the guy took the wrong box, and he said he refused to... S he said that he didn't take that box, and he lied to me, and then I found them all over where I live in Montreal. Every comic shop had all my old vintage books, and so, you know, I said I let it go. It's karma. Carmen would bite him in the ass, and probably it did. That's only time will tell. Time went on, and I continue with my life. So I'm with the show. First thing I'm gonna talk about is Swamp Thing mini statue. Very small. Very cool. I like it. It's hard to see because of um, of the color, right? I know. It's anyways. Here's his face. If you could see there. His flower hands. Non-articulated, probably like about probably six inches tall. It says underneath trademark and copyright 1999 DC Comics. All rights reserved. China number two uh, two thousand four hundred and thirty-one out of two thousand five hundred. Came in a little box. It's the mini statue version of uh, the Big Swamp Thing. I give it a five on five. He's one of my favorite Swamp uh, Swamp Thing. Sorry, it's only one small thing. He's one of my favorite DC characters that exists in, I, I guess, Vertical, because he's, he they don't he never appears, he rarely appears in any any other with any other superhero in the DC universe. It does happen a, a, occasionally in certain issues, but not often. So this is all him in his glory. See the details in the back. To like pods feet I like it it's one of my I keep it in my swamp thick uh, collection from Kenner and that's gonna be the next review is tomorrow is gonna be the first part or part two this is part one second part is gonna start with swamp thing from Kenner so plus chunky out I'm letting you I'm just a brief a brief history and it's going to be called Swamp Thing Kenner from 1990 to 91. Based on the DC comic hero, figures are uh, based on the comic based on DC comic hero. Figures are characters from the Swamp Thing animated TV series that basically they don't write here. It lasted only 9 episodes in the 90s. That's it. They did 9 episodes and they canceled it. The in Entirely issue of the camouflage Swamp Thing had color change paint on its arms and chest. Another version had a different um, a, a panel on the chest only. So they made one, two, three, four, five, six in series one. In series two, it had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. So on with the show. I'm gonna start with with one of the pieces tomorrow. I have the whole, almost the whole complete set. Pass Junkie out. Thank you for watching the brief history of Swamp Thing. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, the the artist that created the, uh, was mm, I forgot his name, but if you want to uh, look for Barry, mm, you know what? I'm not gonna say his name. It's B W. You check it out. Google search and you can find it. Plastic junkie out, stay plastic, stay hard.